this guy lost his house and he asked me to write him a song. So I did it. I was like a nice nun. She used to um, be commissioned to write dirty stories for businessmen. I was commissioned by this guy to write a song, and he said, can you just write a song about me losing my house? I don't care whether it's soft or hard. Can I, I said, can I make it hard rocking? He goes, yeah. I said, can I say fuck? And he said, please do. And I said, all right. And I came to him, showed him that song, and he hugged me so hard. And he cranks it all the time. It's become his anthem. <laughs> but then a girl came up to me and said she liked it too because she lost her house because she was a doctor and her husband was a lazy sword. So she uses it for hers too. So it was multi-purpose. <laughs> Passed down across the sexes. Carried on the evening zephyr. On a beautiful night. Here in Piermont, New York. On a beautiful hamlet. Village. Village. Speaking of villages. I would like to say one thing about a village. This is a cool village, and there was something I heard about, and I gotta tell you about it. It's so cool because it's right here in this village, and I thought when I heard about it, I have to tell you guys about it because it seems like the coolest thing ever. And I am, uh, I have to talk about it. I don't even, I don't even know why, but I have to because okay, the reason I'm talking about it is because I love movies. God, I love going to the movies, so I always go to the movies. So I heard that here in Rockland County, I guess, and stuff, they have this theater where they show really good art films, like Bill Cunningham, New York, which was a great one, and um, all these different art films, they show them twice a month, and they pay their directors to come talk. So it's like you're at a mini film festival here, which I can get behind, because I like it if I can see the director come talk or somebody else and hear about the movie I saw. So then I heard that there's this thing tomorrow that starts at 10 a.m. Sunday. And it's Sunday, I mean, and it's called... <laughs> A kitchen tour de force and it starts at 10 a.m. on Sunday and what it is is 10 people have opened up their beautiful kitchens and this is a very nice area you're in obviously and you're gonna see some beautiful kitchens and you get to go to 10 kitchens and they're actually serving food like somebody's doing tapas a, a great chef's coming making tapas and each kitchen you do a, to a tour of and it's called a kitchen tour de force 10 of them during the day and it's only 40 bucks and the money goes to keep independent film coming here so I had to talk about it because it's something I could definitely get behind so if you want to know about it I did suss out somebody who could tell you about it how to get tickets and her name is Suzanne where are you Right there. Would you stand up real quick? Yeah, just real quick. People will know. Because I'm going to take a short break in a little bit and they'll know to talk to you. Because I think it's really cool. So I wanted to do this. So thank you thank for you. Uh, uh, doing this. I think it's great. So I don't know. Maybe I would do it if I was going to be here, but I'm going to Halifax, Nova Scotia. I would love to go into people's kitchens and steal things. <laughs> now, these people, do they have insurance? Are they reputable? <laughs> What if I should slip and hurt my knee? I've had a bad UCL ever since we went skiing in Aspen. Remember that one bad winter? Okay. 